Hello, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Feng Jun. I'm currently the technical lead from Robotics Group and mainly focusing on the perception related R&D work for different robotic applications. And today I'm very happy to be here to present some of our work regarding how ROS is applied in the next generation hyperpersonalization line. Next, please. First, I will start from background and motivations and later I will uh, give a brief overview of the line. The next. The main idea of the line and the target customer for this hyper-personalization line is the FMCG industry. FMCG is the first moving consumer goods. And, and in other words, FMCG industry focus on producing most of the items that we are using daily and that we can find in supermarkets. And Singapore has around 30K FMCG establishments and the value are added to be 12K million from the data summarized by Singapore Economic Development Board back to uh, 2015. And after five years in 2020, both number has been increased dramatically. Especially under the COVID-19 pandemic, Singapore government has initiated more investment in FMCG, especially the retail, warehouse, and logistic. And Singapore is also with strong FMCG ecosystem of local and global companies with R&D and manufacturing activities. We have some biggest international FMCG customers um, such as PNG, Coca-Cola, and Nestle joined ARTC as member, and Johnson & Johnson as Ross and member as well. We are working very closely with these companies to provide solutions for their production. And according to these statistics, we find that FMCG has tremendous future, especially in robotics and automation. And now that we we'll deep and investigate where robotics is needed in FMCG and its warehouse applications. Uh, next. And based on our market survey, we have found that robotics can be adopted into uh, warehouse order fulfillment picking, palletization and depalletization, also handling, order picking and cotton sealings. And um, but not limited to these. Next. In ARTC, we have created the concept of hyper-personalization line and targeted to solve the technical industrial problems, such as inflexible high volume production and lack of real-time data, labor intensive, uh, disruption due to e-commerce and data concerning uh, customers and we are providing the solution by designing flexible line for providing uh, personalization and building end-to-end -end connectivity um, dynamic track trace and analytic and at the same time we are applying advanced robotics and automation for order fulfillment um, next please we have divided into three different work packages to develop a smart, scalable, flexible, and integrated line with uh, modular test beds for personalized products, and also develop solutions with industry for production uh, for productivity improvement, and reduce the time and cost for implementation. Uh, next, please. And this is the overview of the line which we are currently building in the RTC lab. And we, are, we, we have uh, four main, uh, three main stations. Uh, the first one is the smart filling and dispensing station uh, for the customized SKU based on customer's uh, preference. Uh, and also at the same time, we have the smart product 
replenishment and buffer, operation, uh, buffer storage station, which handle the SKU uh, most common, uh, which handle the SKU, uh, the most common process that we could see in the house or logistics, such as depalletization de box and pacing, um, uh, replenishment, storage, etc. Meanwhile, the smart order fulfillment station also handles the SKUs to pack according to the orders. At the same time, mobile robots are also used to transfer materials between different stations. Next, thank you. After introducing the overview of the line, we'll go deeper to see how robotics related development is carried out in the line. I will introduce the uh, following three main parts. Uh, next. Um, first, we are aiming to handle quite a large variety of SKUs. Um, just a single gripper is very difficult to be adapted for all kinds of SKUs. Based on the market survey, we have find um, we come up the tool changer, which enables which enables automatic uh, fast changeover of gripper, and is able to pick up uh, and grip uh, different SKUs. At the same time, we are working very closely with National University of Singapore to uh, design the prototype of hybrid soft gripper. This soft gripper enables automatically adjustment of the opening and orientation of soft gripper to cater a wide variety of products. With those um, grippers, we also need to detect the objects and find where are they uh, in, from the scene. So uh, next, please. So we have developed robotic beam picking and optimized packing solution for the mass customized products in the downstream packing processes. The main challenge for beam, pack, beam picking is that all the SKUs are mixed in the top bin and they are very randomly placed in the clutter environment. In addition, most of the beam picking for uh, most of the beam picking are focusing on picking, while the packing is usually just dropped into the box. This leads to an optimized packing and waste a lot of cotton boxes. And this is not sustainable and environmental friendly. Uh, in addition, most of the existing system might be inflexible to be integrated with different robots. Some of these, some of them might be uh, with high invest cost, especially for 3D cameras and vision systems. We have come up our own beam picking and packing capability uh, in this line. The system mainly consists of four different modules. The perception module is for detecting the detecting and segmenting the objects from the scene and generate the picking poles. Motion planning module take care take care of uh, plan the mod planning the robot motion with collision avoidance. And packing is to pack SKUs into the delivery box in an optimized way. And lastly, the interface and connectivity module supports communication with other external systems, such as MES, uh, warehouse management, etc. Um, next, please. The beam picking system is developed in ROS 1. And this is the software pipeline and the flow uh, between different modules. Um, first, once the order is generated um, from the online ordering system, the target packing codes will be generated and sent to lower control level. And when the vision system is triggered to detect the uh, objects and generate the pulse, and, and, and then the motion planning will uh, pick up the objects and transfer to the target uh, target cotton box. Um, next, please. 
so far we have developed two different version of beam picking system. The first version we use uh, in sensor camera, um, 2D feature such as SIFT and also the plant crab segmentation. The system uh, provides fast picking solution for single bin and also the mixed bin. It's able to integrate with uh, different um, with most of market available robots uh, by using ROS. For the motion planning module, we are using ROS Move It package, and the system is able to achieve a speed of uh, 240 pigs per hour. For the second version, uh, we are trying to solve the problems from the first version. This is also uh, still under development. We have choose a lower cost camera, uh, which is the Intel RealSense. Um, we also use mask RCN to detect the objects from the scene based on the uh, mask generated from mask RCN. Uh, we segment the objects and generate the pose tape for picking. And currently the vision part has been uh, finished. We are now working on integrating the perception module with the motion planning module. Um, next, please. Another development work in the hyper-personalization line is uh, the vision-based robotic system for mixed depilotization. Um, as you all know, robotic depilotization is very common in warehouses and also factories. However, in this topic here, we are de dealing with more complex uh, pilot scenarios. And all the patterns are either tightly or loosely placed uh, with variety of size and pattern. So this leads to um, unclear box boundaries and also unclear box faces. And also based on the market of market survey, we find that most of the available solutions with high cost and also uh, very expensive vision systems. So here uh, we also show the system architecture. We have uh, camera modules uh, with um, multiple camera brands that we have tried. Uh, and also we have uh, developed the ROS drivers and also use their uh, open source uh, drivers as well. The PC will interface with the vision system and run the vision algorithms. And it's, uh, the system is also compatible with uh, multiple uh, robots brands to ROS. And at the same time, um, the system is able to communicate with external systems such as PLC, MES, etc. Uh, next, please. We have developed uh, and demonstrated a mixed depilotization system. Um, in the first version, we use photonio camera, and the perception algorithm is purely based on the segmentation on point cloud. And the video here is demonstrating um, the depilotization and the camera first detects the cartons and then um, generates the detected object, the detected carton poses. Um, the robot will uh, plan the motion, pick up the uh, cartons and transfer to the targeted uh, location. And recently we have come up uh, some, a couple of new approaches. Uh, next please. And those new approaches uh, is targeted to solve the issues from the first first version. And on the left here, um, we choose to use uh, even cheaper real sense camera. Uh, sorry, on the on the left we use Halcon and also the Basel camera, and on the right we use um, real sense camera and use the Mars Gaussian. We have prepared our own data set and um, fine tune the parameters and uh, model uh, and train the model ourselves. And from the result, looks quite uh, impressive. And currently, we are working on integrating uh, the vision module with uh, motion planning as well. I uh, hope uh, soon we'll demonstrate something. 
uh, very soon. And um, ROS provides us most of the drivers and also integrates these different systems. And the system also uh, with high flexibility to be extended with market cameras and robots. So um, here I have introduced some development work uh, that we are carrying out in robotic area using ROS in hyper-personalization line. Later you will see a video for the hyper-personalization line to understand more about it. Um, that's all for my presentation today. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask us. Thank you.